What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 23 video. EA have finally released the brand new swaps for our swaps tokens. But before we get into that, before that though guys, we all remember how absolutely amazing the FIFA World Cup was. And the Panini NFTs are a great way to keep that buzz going. So today we're going to open 10 more packs we're going to battle it out against Baitis and 87 one more time. This, of course, is round two. I smoked him in the first one. And the idea is to see how many Arsenal players I can get versus how many Liverpool players he can get in the upcoming packs. This one of one Gonzalo Montiel was a beaut of a pull from the first time around. My first unique from Panini. And let's get in to the packs. All right, first pack in we go then. I just want that unique, you know what I mean? I have got a common rare. Yeah, I've just got a rare as well. Oh, Jonathan David. He's actually injured today, unfortunately. Yeah, Griezmann, not Liverpool, but not a bad first pack. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a unique. I don't know why. I'm just feeling it's, and it's going to be like a sacker or something like that. Ooh, I've got an epic. Oh, I've got, got an rare. epic. I got a base and Bappe. So that would be beautiful. We get a Shakiri. My epic is bump. Ooh, ne oh, and Nepa got one of your boys. Oh, yeah. I got an Emil Smith row oh. to 25. Nice. And it is a new era card. Absolutely I fantastic. I also got a new era card. New era Reese James out of 99, unfortunately. My uh, rare was the Career Republic badge. Ooh, I got, ooh, I got a really good epic, actually. Seven out of 10. Scorers Club, Edinson Cavani. Oh, wait, an epic. That's above the ultra rare, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, he wasn't even that gas. The ultra rare was out of 25. Oh, it would have been, oh, been even more gas and I got confused. <laughs> I got, got an ultra rare. My ultra rare is out of 25. I've got an ultra rare as well. Let's see what it is. Ooh, the battle, this could be it. Oh, it's signed Pedri. That's mad. Oh, you got, a, you got an auto. Oh, I didn't get an auto. I got a Roman size. Ultra rare. Back to back ultra rares. I, I want an auto. Oh, I have a Rodrigo. Nice. All right, last pack. I need that big one, please. I've got an ultra rare. Oh, I've, I, oh, I'm curious. Right, so your ultra rare could win it, right? I have got a rare, so you, so you need a big one. Or oh, I need a Liverpool. Yeah. Give me an Arsenal player. Go on, ultra rare. Oh, it's Anthony. It's uh, Prism Panini Brazil Anthony. Number two out of 49. That's not bad. That's solid. My final one, guys. No Liverpool. No Arsenal. We get a Ryan May uh, rookie card to 99 to finish. I don't know, Nep. I probably think I'll take this oh, one. Yeah. yeah, you definitely. Uh, you, what did you get? You got the epic, didn't you? The epic is the uh, differentiator there. And I think you won off the back of that. And so let's have a look at what we've got. We've got the 81 by 11 rare players pack for two tokens. The Future Stars Team 1 player pack for three tokens. Although there's a few stinkers in Future Stars Team 1. I actually think that's quite good. Uh, Zola for five tokens. Coutinho for 10 tokens. I don't think this is a good card for 10 tokens. I really don't. It's so, like, meh. There's so many cards out like it. We've got the 87 plus Winter Wildcard Centurions or Future Stars player pick for 15 tokens, which, again, I don't really like. The 85 by 10 for 15 tokens. The George Best for 20 tokens. Wait, was there not an 84 by 10? Wait, what? Where's the 20 token, 10 token? George Best for 20 tokens. An 85 by 10 times 2 for 25 tokens. Prime, oh, it's at the back. That's a bit weird to put it there, isn't it? Prime icon player pick for 27 tokens and then the 84 by 20 for 10 tokens. Um, we will open some of those share plays later on today if you want to come and watch that, twitch.tv slash Nepenthes or if not, catch it on Nepenthes 2 later on tonight. And we've also got an 85 plus player pick, an 82 plus upgrade, Future Stars Challenge 4 for another Future Stars token. And that's it for SBC. So the 82 upgrade is repeatable. Let's see. Four rares. Ooh. That doesn't seem unreasonable. Three commons and four rares for an 82 plus player. Like, obviously, it's not like insane, insane. But it's not bad, is it? It's not bad. There's a. We'll open one of those just to see. Uh, we've got the 85. That, that's repeatable continuously. This is repeatable every 24 hours. 
85 plus player pick. An 84 rated squad with a team of the week. Now, do I have an 84 rated squad? That is the big question. Probably just. Let's get these 85s in there. We'll get the inform in there afterwards as well. Should be an 84 rated inform cover for this. Maybe an 85. I need to get some fodder. I need to I need to spam some of those uh some of those 82 plus upgrades, don't I really? Yeah, that's perfect. There we go. And that gives us a one of three 85 plus players pick. Is this gonna be the thing that we need? Come on, EA, show me a future stars in here. Why not? Why not? That's why not. Sule, Shik, and Daibala. Brilliant. Absolute waste of fodder. Message from the FIFA team. Future star swaps open. Yep, we've already been through that, EA. Thanks very much. Uh, so let's have a look at objectives before we go to the store. And we have got future stars Anthony Gordon. Um... Nothing in milestones. His overall card. Four star, five star. Early crosser. Flair and outside the foot shot. He is, he's just mid. He can play left mid, right mid. Left wing and right wing, which is quite nice. His pace is nice. His dribbling is okay. His passing is okay and his shooting is okay. And I think that's a problem. He's just okay. He just looks all right, you know. Uh, what do we need to do for him? A one foot champions playoff match for the first Gordon that is 82 rated. Three star, three star. I hope all of this is in foot champs. I would be so happy with that. I'll actually probably do them instead of squad battles or rivals. Win three foot champions playoff matches with the 82 rated card in your squad. And play four foot champions matches with the 82 in your squad for the 84. 84 is not too, too bad. Um, win three for champions playoff matches with the 84 rated in your squad. What if I know it's there for 34 days, but what if you like win four, lose six? You know, you win three and get this one, you win a fourth. This is play for what if you just run out of games? <laughs> you know, um. Win three foot champions playoff matches with the 84 rated in your squads. Play four foot champs with that one. Win three there. Play four foot champions matches with the 84 in your squad. Play five foot champions finals matches with the 86 rated. And play 12 foot champions. Now, although you can't get it to the weekend or possibly after you finished your foot champs run. Oh, yeah. But if you've like, hold on, this could be a big problem. Let's assume, first of all, you've already done your playoffs. You can't possibly get him until Friday when you complete foot champs. But even then, if you complete foot champs on Friday and then um, go into the qualifiers, you play one, you get the 82. You win three with the 82, which is now going to be four of those games gone. And then you play four to get the 84. That's no five of those games gone. You then need to play four more, which is nine of those games, but you need to win the three. Okay, no, you, you're guaranteed to do it. But yeah, you, if you've already done qualifications, you can't possibly get this card until next weekend's weekend league. It's impossible. How stupid is that? They should give you the ability to replay. They should give everyone the ability to replay qualifiers. Um, the other reward is just some XP on him. He, he's, he's, he's all right as well, mind you. He's all right. It's, it's, I, I don't think EA thought this one through too much. Now, for me personally, I've, I've not played for champs yet, the qualifiers, so it doesn't really bother me. I can go and get those ones done now and then get the last ones done. Oh, in form. 48, it's not lights up. Um, Pezella, is he tradable? He is not. Um, yes, it's a bit... They just didn't think it through, did they? They didn't think it through. And so... Let's have a look in the store. Maybe we've got another uh, token pack. Done it on purpose to ma make an artificial time gate, probably. Yeah, maybe so. And, and maybe just for engagement as well. You know, making people come back on to play champs. Um, 
That's a bit that's a bit annoying, I can't lie. That is a bit annoying. Um right, let's have a look at the promo packs. Winter Jumbo Rare. So there's no token in packs today, just some hundred Ks and fifty Ks and premium gold players pack. So let's have a little look. Full chem with Trip and Pope. Yeah, I mean listen, it's not bad, it's not a bad card, right? And I think we talked about this a lot when we were looking at the Theo Walcott SBC. Um, you know, a lot of people didn't like the Theo Walcott SBC because it, it, it's below the power curve or whatever. But I think cards like Theo Walcott, like Gordon, like some of these future stars, I don't think they're about being as good as the power curve. I think they're about giving you an option. So if you're a Newcastle fan right now, if you got that Trippier, you should have done. You should have got that Pope. You've also got Bruno Gamara's special card, Almiron Player of the Month, St. Maximin special card, even though it's quite expensive, Callum Wilson in form that's not terrible. You can actually start building a reasonable Newcastle team now, which is quite nice, right? Um, so as for Gordon, obviously the lower rated ones you don't really care about. Maybe the 86 one you care about because he's, he's going to be the one that you have to take into champs to play with. So he's got pretty good pace. Only three star, three star, unfortunately. Um, you know, what would I, I... I would have to use this guy as a striker. With stats, with those dribbling stats and those passing stats, I'd be putting a hunter on him and just taking him up front. Great pace. Uh, good finishing and shot power. Decent positioning. And then the 88 rated uh, Gordon as well. Why does it keep doing that on foot bin? Um, left mid, left wing, right mid, right wing. Four star, five star is a really nice upgrade on him. Outside the foot shot trait and flare trait and early crosser trait is really nice. Again, you could play him at striker with a finisher would be nice. Great finishing, great dribbling. I think though maybe maybe a maestro gets that shot power long shots to be outrageous, which on a five star weak foot would be really nice. Gets his passing to be very, very good. And gives a good boost to reactions and dribbling. It's a good card. I tell, you, I tell you what I like. I tell you what I like. I like the fact it's in foot champs. I think this is the first card we've had in foot champs ever. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the first card we've had to play for ever in foot champs. And because of how sweaty Rivals is and how goddamn boring squad battles is, how much better it would be if it was three minute halves instead of six minute halves. Being able to just go into champs and be able to pick up this card, superb. I'm a big fan of it. Um... Let's have a look at the new uh, challenges. Obviously, we've got the Future Stars challenge stuff there. Uh, but we've also got the 85 plus player pick. People are upvoting. Future Stars challenge for, for another token, which gives you a rare gold pack. And the 82 plus upgrade, which is very reasonable. You know, 4K for an 82 plus. If you, you know, it doesn't take much to get that uh, 82 plus card. So that is the content for today, guys. Um, overall... I know, I know I get greedy when I think about stuff like this, but I just want more of this. I want more players like Gordon. There should just be an absolute plethora of players like Gordon to play for in champs. Not only that, there should be the ability to repeat champs qualifiers unlimited times if you've already done them. That would, I, I would actually start playing FIFA every day again for gameplay if that was the case. Because rivals just ain't it. And squad battles just ain't it. Which means draft and champs are like the only places of the game that I enjoy playing. And that's, uh, that's my thoughts on the situation. So let me know what you think about that. Let me know what you think about Gordon in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.